Well, hey everybody, welcome back for another drawing exercise in Adobe Express. This is a really fun project where we're going to use subtraction to create letters. Just head on over to the purple plus, tap, and in the little search bar here, we want to type D R and look at that. We have the option for drawing. It's this first one here with a little paintbrush. Just tap on the paintbrush and this will load the Adobe Express drawing editor. We have so many fun brushes to play with. We're going to use a whole bunch of brushes to paint right here in the middle of our canvas. I'll show you what I mean. Why don't we start with some of these crazy multicolor brushes? Just tap on this purple lettering here. This says view all. Look at all of these fun brushes we can use. I'll start with this leafy brush and just paint a little bit over here. Now look, I'm not making anything specific. How about using the rainbow chew? That's fun. Move in different directions. Try different shapes. Maybe now I'll try this star scatter brush. We'll just do a little bit of a mess over here. If you want your brushes to be bigger, tap on this little arrow. And here is the slider you can move to make your brush bigger by moving to the right or smaller by moving to the left. I want mine to be bigger, so I'll go this way. And now my stars, as you can see, are a little larger. Back to my multicolor brushes. We'll tap on view all again. And let's try something else. How about the squiggle brush here? All right, let me just draw some neat squiggles over here. Cool. Maybe one more multicolor brush. And I think I'll try this one in the middle. Oh, neat. I like all those colored dots. You'll notice I'm just painting here in the center and I'm taking up most of the space that's there, but I'm not painting all the way out to the edges of the canvas. I'm going to change now to a different category of brushes here at the bottom. Decorative brushes. It's the last category. Once again, I'll tap on view all. And this is the largest category we have with so many interesting brushes. I'll try this one. It's called squared leaves. Remember, you can use any brushes and any colors you want. All we're trying to do is make an interesting abstract drawing here on the canvas using as many brushes as possible. Tapping back, I can select different colors. I can also open up this menu right here. And from there, if I tap on this option, we see our color picker. Now you may remember that you can tap and drag anywhere in this box to make your color much more intense, brightly colored by dragging to the right. We call that saturated. Or it could be less saturated, desaturated here on the left, which makes it more gray. It can be brighter by moving up or darker by moving down. And here's where you change the hue, which is just another fancy word for color. Let's try a nice blue. 
And now, I'll just paint with this brush. Let's check out another brush here in this category. I think this Border Geo brush is neat. It's the first one in the second row. And for this one, I think I'll use some yellow. Cool. Maybe I'll try using the same brush with some pink over here. Just experiment. Try as many brushes as you like. Try as many different colors as you like. Don't forget to try custom colors over here. There are lots of neat options. Make sure you use some darker colors and some lighter colors. Dark colors on top of light colors and light colors on top of dark colors create better contrast. It means that the darks and the lights are further apart from one another. And when they're layered on top of each other, you can read them really clearly. Let me see what else I can do. How about some hearts? I'm gonna use a deep dark green And maybe a really light yellow with a big brush. Slide to the right. Try that. Neat. If you change your mind about something you've done, don't forget, you can undo it right here with this little arrow. See that? Just continue to create as many different brush strokes with different colors as you want. And when you're ready, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, time for the next part. And what I want to do is use my eraser right here. And whatever the first letter of your name is, I want you to imagine that you can see that letter here in the center of all this cool stuff you just painted. And what you're going to do is erase away every part of which you've drawn that isn't that letter. So this is a subtractive drawing exercise. It takes a little getting used to, but if you try it a few times, you'll get pretty good at it. And remember, you can always undo if you make a mistake. So no problem. You want to make your eraser a size that feels easy to work with. So you can move the slider around probably somewhere in the bottom half over here to get to a size where you can just easily move through a lot of your painting at once. And what I find kind of fun is to sort of paint away a little bit with the eraser until I get something that looks a little bit like a square on my canvas. Kind of like this. And then with a slightly smaller eraser, I start to think about getting rid of some bits in the middle to reveal the letter I want. My name is Kyle. So I'm going to erase away anything that isn't the shape of the K. Here we go. Now, once you've done this, you can also use some of the same brushes that you liked and maybe have some bits and pieces come outside of the letter. For example, if I go back to my brushes in the decorative category and maybe I use something that's a bit like a vine, and now I can take that same brush 
and let that vine just pop out the top of the K. And that's pretty fun. So I think I'll do a bit more of that with some other brushes and keep playing around. And you can do the same. Well, there's my finished letter and I feel pretty good about it. So now the only thing left to do is download it right here and it will save it to your computer. Have fun making your unique and very colorful, subtractive and additive letters in Adobe Express with the drawing tools. And I'll see you again next time.